Well, what we don't know for sure, when you think we would, but we just don't, is what's the structural integrity of asteroids? Only recently, in recent decades, did we learn some of them might just be... In a world where the existence of extraterrestrial life has been the subject of speculation and debate, an event of unparalleled significance has unfolded. The scientific community's most beloved astrophysicist, Neil deGrasse Tyson, finds himself at the center of a secret that defies explanation. Neil was left utterly speechless when confronted with evidence that challenged the very fabric of our understanding. The sun will have a fate such as this, where at the end its outer layers of gas will escape into space. What could cause such a seasoned scientist to question everything he thought he knew? Are we truly alone in the universe, or has a cosmic companion been hiding in plain sight? Join us as we unravel the truth behind the alien corpse that has left Neil deGrasse Tyson himself questioning the very nature of our existence. Mysteries excite us all. But there are very few mysteries that have the power to captivate and terrify us at the same time. On the 26th of July, 2023, David Grouch, a former intelligence officer from the Pentagon's UAP task force, presented his testimony before the U.S. Congressional hearing, specifically the House Committee on Oversight and Accountability. He took an oath to share information that has raised eyebrows. Firstly, Grouch pointed out that the term UFOs has lost its popularity and gained a negative reputation. To keep up with the times, a new term, UAP or Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, has emerged. This change in terminology reflects the fact that not every mysterious occurrence is necessarily airborne, but the new label aims to cover a broader range of phenomena. During his testimony, Grouch mentioned that he couldn't discuss certain details openly. However, he expressed his willingness to share more information, including specific details and names with representatives. This exchange would take place in a sensitive, compartmentalized information facility, or SCIF, emphasizing the need for confidentiality. Grouch's claims go beyond the surface. He asserted the existence of government conspiracies involving secret operations related to the capture, recovery, and reverse engineering of unidentified objects since the 1930s. Furthermore, he made astonishing statements, suggesting that the U.S. government has owned non-human biological entities and alien bodies recovered from unidentified crafts. These revelations paint a picture of hidden activities dating back decades. While the details of this situation are interesting and could have significant consequences if proven true, unfortunately, there's not much for us to explore at the moment. The ongoing investigations are shrouded in secrecy, happening behind tightly sealed doors. Think of them as super secure doors, like the ones protecting classified information. During a recent hearing, Two individuals, retired U.S. fighter pilot Ryan Graves and retired U.S. Navy commander David Fravor, shared their accounts as eyewitnesses. Their testimonies were mainly linked to the mysterious TikTok incident, where a strange pill-shaped, unidentified aerial phenomenon was captured by Navy instruments and cameras during certain operations. However, the available information is quite limited. Our initial focus should be on the fact that there are always individuals out there trying to deceive others or seeking brief moments of fame. They often chase opportunities for book deals, interviews, and notoriety. This tendency is an unchanging aspect of the world we inhabit, where the allure of fame and recognition comes with potential lucrative rewards. Adding another layer to the complexity is the issue of disclosure. Governments carefully choose what information to share with the public, prioritizing national security interests. In an ideal world, there would be transparency, but the reality is that disclosure is a deliberate and cautious process. When he stumbled upon this, NASA was right there, and it immediately added a sense of legitimacy to the whole thing. Back in June 2022, NASA took a bold step by assembling a team of 16 independent experts. Their mission was to dive into the realm of unidentified aerial phenomena using NASA's open source data and expertise. 
This initiative was housed under the Department of Defense's All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. They weren't out to dissect past UFO sightings or events. Instead, they focused on figuring out how NASA could contribute to understanding these mysterious phenomena in the future. Fast forward to September 14, 2023, when NASA held a press conference to unveil the team's findings. Surprisingly, the experts concluded that, scientifically speaking, we're not swimming in enough evidence to confidently say, yep, that's alien tech. It's not a dismissal. It just means they lack sufficient data to draw any solid conclusions. The hitch lies in the fact that the existing data was collected using instruments designed for purposes other than studying UAPs. So the data isn't a perfect fit for our quest. Most sightings turn out, they have pretty usual explanations. Everyday objects, optical illusions on camera lenses, and instrument hiccups due to a lack of calibration. But, and this is the juicy part, a small chunk of sightings remains mysterious and unexplained. Talking about 171 reports that fall into the can't quite put our finger on it category. In his humble opinion, NASA should take the helm in delving into these phenomena. They should do it with their trademark openness and transparency, sharing their findings with the world. After all, that's how NASA has always rolled. NASA has consistently stood as a steadfast ally in our quest for knowledge. Given the right financial backing, the organization has the potential to unravel the mysteries surrounding UFOs and UAPs, as indicated by recent reports. It's important to note that a significant portion of the available information on these phenomena is kept under wraps, not because the data itself is sensitive, but because it was gathered using classified military instruments. The rationale behind this secrecy is to safeguard the country's defensive capabilities from prying foreign eyes. Unlike data sourced from entities like the Navy or DARPA, NASA's information might be more accessible. Their researchers utilize non-classified instruments, which opens the door to potential transparency. The key insight from the NASA report, in his view, suggests that NASA could take a groundbreaking step by outsourcing the operation of remote sensing observation satellites to private companies. These companies could deploy high-resolution equipment focused on Earth, and through a novel approach, data collection could be crowdsourced on the ground, leveraging the power of our smartphones. This innovative strategy could enhance our understanding of the universe while maintaining the necessary balance between discovery and security. They proposed a brilliant idea for NASA to create a user-friendly app that we can easily download on our phones. This app would automatically capture a wealth of information, including sensor data and images, whenever someone reports a UFO sighting. Someone claims they saw a UFO in Kansas, and their phone, armed with the app, starts monitoring magnetic fields, infrared spectrum, and more. This added data would make the sighting more credible and fascinating. Imagine the impact of all our smartphones transformed into data-gathering devices. NASA could then access a vast pool of data, including precise location, time, gravitational and electromagnetic field measurements, LIDAR sensing, and even high-resolution imagery. Surprisingly, much of this capability already exists in our smartphones. This concept signals a major shift in NASA's approach to UFOs, showing they are taking these phenomena seriously. Considering NASA's extensive resources, experience, and a trove of data from crowdsourcing, the prospect of unraveling the truth behind unidentified aerial phenomena seems promising. While we may lack comprehensive data today, the future promises improved insights into this interesting mystery. The incredible achievement of NASA with the James Webb Telescope, despite going way over budget and being 14 years behind schedule, it performed flawlessly. This groundbreaking telescope is already revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. Recently, it even identified a potential exoplanet that might support life. Jaime Musan, a well-known Mexican TV host and ufologist, testified under oath on September 12, 2023. He brought forth the mummified remains of two beings he claimed to be extraterrestrial. 
These specimens were supposedly discovered in the deserts of Nazca, Peru, an archaeological site. Interestingly, this is the same discovery presented to the Peruvian Congress in 2018 by a team of scientists led by biologist José de la Cruz Rios López. They conducted thorough scientific verifications, including CAT scans, carbon dating, and expert testimonies, aiming to prove the authenticity of their find. The evidence suggests that these extraterrestrial beings might be more than just a hoax or forgery, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the possibility of alien existence. In 2021, a fascinating discovery unfolded and made its way into the International Journal of Biology and Biomedicine. Picture this, a pregnant female specimen, distinct with scales on its skin, three fingers on each hand, walking on two feet, devoid of a nose, and carrying four eggs in its belly. The researchers, however, embarked on a journey to unravel the mysteries without the aid of DNA analysis or carbon dating. The plot thickened when the specimens were transported to Mexico, home to UNAM, the country's most esteemed university. Here, both DNA analysis and carbon dating took center stage. Astonishingly, the carbon dating technique marked the mummies at a ripe age of 1,000 years, while the DNA analysis revealed an amazing revelation. 70% of the alien's DNA proved to be distinctly different from any known living organism on Earth. Extraterrestrial origins seemed imminent. These alleged extraterrestrials strangely fit the stereotypical image of Hollywood's little green men. The humor lies in the strange resemblance between the scientific findings and the fictionalized portrayal of aliens. Could it be that humanity's vivid imagination drew inspiration from actual encounters with aliens, etching these encounters onto cave walls throughout the millennia? Or perhaps, is it mere coincidence that evidence aligns with what our creative minds conjured? The secret deepens as people discuss unidentified aerial phenomena, seemingly defying the known laws of physics. People are captivated by unidentified aerial phenomena, and the fascination isn't without reason. These mysterious objects display extraordinary abilities that defy the norms of known materials. Instant acceleration and mind-bogglingly high G-forces, exceeding 5,000 times that of the Fay 18 fighter jet, which can pull about 7.5 Gs. To put it into perspective, fighter jets are known for their agility, yet UAPs surpass them in sheer performance. What makes UAPs even more enigmatic is their ability to achieve hypersonic velocities without leaving behind any telltale signs like sonic booms or observable friction with the air. Sonic booms are the thunderous sounds created when an aircraft breaks the sound barrier, a result of compressed sound waves. Surprisingly, UAPs seem to defy this phenomenon, accelerating from zero to Mach 2 without a whisper. An aircraft seamlessly gliding through the air, plunging into the ocean, only to effortlessly take off again and ascend into space. It's a feat that involves mastering three vastly different levels of engineering and physics, an extraordinary accomplishment for any vehicle. Adding to the interest is the unexplainable flight behavior of UAPs. No visible thrusters, exhaust, or steering mechanisms are apparent, and there's no obvious consumption of energy. This hints at the possibility of an anti-gravity drive, a concept that fueled interest in the famous Tic Tac sightings. It's noteworthy that nearly half, or 47%, of reported UAPs have a spherical shape, which, from an aerodynamic standpoint, is far from ideal. Spheres lack conventional control surfaces for changing direction mid-flight. Nevertheless, these mysterious spheres effortlessly navigate the air, remaining stationary even in high winds of 120 knots or 138 miles per hour. The stealth and elusiveness of UAPs make them a challenging secret to unravel, fueling the imagination of those interested in the unknown. The mummies from Peru, previously dismissed by the scientific community as a sophisticated copy involving a combination of human and animal bones glued together and covered in a fabricated reptilian skin, are now being presented as evidence under oath in the Mexican Congress. 
However, simply swearing to the authenticity of these claims doesn't make them true. To validate this information, it is crucial for the individuals involved to share samples with the broader independent scientific community. This entails collaborating with laboratories worldwide to cross-verify the data. If indeed these mummies are of extraterrestrial origin, the approach must be careful and flawless. Perhaps it would be wise for experts to travel to the location, take small samples, and return promptly to mitigate the risk of loss. It's essential to recognize that scientific facts are established through a consensus of scientists globally, each working independently to verify information. Relying on a single team of researchers is insufficient. This situation parallels our discussion on the LK99 room temperature superconductor, which faced doubters when others couldn't replicate the findings. As Neil deGrasse Tyson aptly articulated, Science isn't shaped by individual measurements or observations, but by the collective efforts of scientists worldwide. The two intriguing pieces of evidence that Masson brought to Mexico. First off, consider the DNA analysis. Researchers found that a whopping 70% of the specimen's DNA was unfamiliar or did not match the evolutionary traits found on Earth. Firstly, these aliens share a DNA structure with us, the same fundamental building blocks of life. Secondly, 30% of their DNA is eerily similar to ours. The mere existence of DNA in these creatures is amazing. If we buy into the idea that these little lizard beings are indeed extraterrestrial, it implies that life independently developed elsewhere in the universe using the same genetic blueprint, DNA. In simpler terms, it means that life beyond Earth might have kicked off with the same four genetic ingredients, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. Back in 1961, the brilliant Dr. Frank Drake proposed a captivating concept known as the Drake Equation. This equation takes us on an extraterrestrial journey, attempting to unveil the number of intelligent alien civilizations potentially populating our vast Milky Way galaxy. As stars twinkle into existence, the equation contemplates the rate at which they form. Then it ponders the stars with planets, a sweet spot where conditions align perfectly, allowing liquid water and the nurturing of life. Other factors join the celestial equation, weaving a cosmic hanging. Estimates, bold and wide-ranging, suggest anywhere from 1,000 to a staggering 100 million civilizations calling the Milky Way home. That's right, the same galaxy we gaze at in awe. It hinges on the plethora of planets orbiting the sun at just the right distance, similar to Earth's comfortable abode. Marvel at the idea that this extends beyond our cosmic backyard, reaching into a total of two trillion galaxies. A minimum of 2,000 trillion alien civilizations potentially exist. The vastness of the universe those immense distances between stars forms a cosmic curtain. Meeting these cosmic neighbors becomes an improbable dream, a challenge dictated by the sheer expanse of the universe. Unless, of course, they stumble upon some revolutionary physics, perhaps a dark energy generator. The cosmic unknown beckons and the quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe continues. Modern physics, a beacon of knowledge illuminates only 4% of the cosmic forces propelling the universe. The secret deepens. There must be hidden threads of physics eluding our grasp, for the universe holds secrets yet to be unveiled. The cosmic ballet continues, inviting them to explore, question, and venture into the realms of the unknown. Imagine this vast cosmic dance, where mysterious forces shape the very fabric of our universe. Dark matter an enigmatic entity constituting a staggering 85% of the universe's mass silently orchestrates the grand cosmic ballet. Yet, its secrets elude our grasp. And then there's dark energy, an unseen influence propelling galaxies to accelerate away from each other, like dancers twirling ever faster across the cosmic stage. They find themselves not only isolated from distant galaxies, planets, and stars, but also hurtling further into the cosmic expanse due to the relentless push of dark energy, a force that remains an enigma, 
a cosmic riddle they have yet to fully decipher. This cosmic contemplation sparked a conversation with his son. As they marveled at the wonders of travel, he pondered the past. Daddy, what did people do before planes? He asked. It led him to recount the days when the world was vast and uncharted, and a journey to the other side meant embarking on a year-long odyssey on ships. The world was a puzzle, with islands and continents harboring mysteries and people unknown. Much like the transformation brought about by air travel, there might be entire galaxies and civilizations beyond our reach, obscured by the vastness of space. Perhaps there exists a cosmic federation, an interstellar community waiting to be discovered. Yet, the key to unlocking these celestial secrets lies in conquering the challenges of physics, engineering, and understanding, particularly in unraveling the mysteries of dark energy. In essence, our cosmic exploration parallels the evolution of earthly travel, from the confinement of a speck of dirt to the potential revelation of a vast cosmic community waiting to be unveiled by those who can navigate the complexities of the universe. This mysterious substance, dark matter, is potentially equipped with the ability to manipulate wormholes, bending the very fabric of space and time. These concepts are currently on the fringes of our comprehension, far beyond our grasp. Until we unlock the secrets of mastering and controlling these phenomena, our existence may remain isolated on this tiny blue planet. A captivating tale from the brilliant mind of Carl Sagan, a remarkable author and individual in the history of our world. His works, including Pale Blue Dot and The Demon Haunted World, Science as a Candle in the Dark, are truly enlightening reads. In The Demon Haunted World, Sagan presents a fascinating scenario. Picture a friend claiming to have a flying dinosaur in their garage. Excited, they express interest, but then they reveal it's invisible, breathes fire, and is cold-blooded with no detectable heat. The more absurd the claims become, the harder it is to engage in a meaningful conversation. This narrative emphasizes the importance of doubters and critical thinking. Sagan reminds us that science is not just a collection of facts. It's a method of thought. It encourages us to question, to be careful of those in authority, and to seek understanding with a keen awareness of human fallibility. Without this approach, we risk falling prey to the influence of pretenders, whether they be political or religious, until we gain better information and insight to foster meaningful communication about the mysteries that surround us. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.